But the next thing you want to do is add some physics elements to that. And um, first, you can uh, select the sphere and go to um, game object. I'm sorry, you go to components and go to physics 2D. And you can add any of these physics objects. And uh, the first, what you want to do is probably add um, gravity or a constant force. Um, one or the other might work. It's up to you at this point. Um, if you had a constant force, that would always push it in one direction. OK? But if you add a rigid body in 2D, it will have also the, um, the option to have gravity, which is also a constant force, but downward. So I'm going to click on rigid body 2D. And, uh, and it says that it's, it has a conflicting component because it already has it. And uh, the reason why it has it is that because it has a sphere collider here. OK, so we could technically remove that and, uh, and try to add it. It might work, it might not, because I might have to add a, a 3D body. Let's see. Yes, that's the thing. As you can see, um, it's, com it's, com it's, uh, it's a conflict because I added a sphere. That's a 3D sphere. And it's complaining because the rigid body is a 2D one. So what I could do is add um, a, a 2D object or sprite. Or what I could do is now add um, a physics physics force, which would be this time um, a, a regular physics and not a 2D physics. But since we want to learn 2D and not 3D, I don't want you to be confused between 3D and 2D. So we're only going to touch 2D. And in this example, we had a sphere that's 3D and a cube that's 3D. So if we want to work with 2D forms, we have to create them ourselves. And as you can see, there is no other way right now. I wish that whenever we went to 2D objects, we were able to create um, our shapes right here. 